Leo, how are you guys doing? Okay, Leo, let's see what's going on for you. Okay, Leo, I just want to clear the energy really quick, okay? Okay, Leo, I have your coffee cup right here, okay? Uh, I'm going to pull tarot and oracle and I have your messages written right here. It's an interesting one, okay? So, whoa. First I saw a hockey stick, okay? And this, uh, you know, hockey stick could mean something to you. Maybe you know somebody that plays hockey. You're going to hear about hockey. I know it's like whatever. But there's something here that this showed me you know, from my childhood and it was like, oh, I'm not good at sports. I'm not good at any sports. That was like my mentality. And this was like mentality that everybody had of me is that, oh, she's not good at sports. She's, uh, you know, the more girly girl, blah, blah, blah. And we played um, hockey in the gym for something in elementary school. I don't know what grade I was in early, you know, third grade or something. And they gave us these, you know, sticks that it was like foam at the bottom, the stick, the hockey stick, and it could just slide along the um, bottom of the gym floor. And we were just in tennis shoes, you know, and I'm playing hockey, you know, and nobody can get the puck for me. And this, this kid in my class, he was like, wow, you're so good. And I was like, I didn't even notice this. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm good? What? I didn't think I would. You know, and it was like, yeah, nobody could get the puck from me the whole time. And I'm just, I was like, I thought this is how you play hockey. He's like, yeah, but usually people, you know, <laughs> are not good at it. And yeah, you can take the puck from them. I play hockey, <laughs> you know. So um, there, there could be something here that you don't realize you're talented at. And it's going to come to find out that, oh, no, you actually are more much more talented than you know than you think than you can possibly see than you give yourself credit for so there could be something here you meet a person or you yourself or a person that it's like what is it you're good at um most people that are good at it you know um you're not like them you're you're different in a way and people would kind of maybe size you up or have in life and said you oh you know you can't do this or you're not this you know there, there is an element here of blowing everybody away and in a, in a good way in a beautiful way um you know there's a lot of that going on in the world now you know there's um you know people that look one way with their voice you know and they sing and their voice sounds a completely other way and it's kind of cool because their style maybe doesn't match the style of music that they're singing so it's kind of beautiful because it's like anybody can be anything you know and, and these boxes that we try to kind of put people in which it's not always this malicious intent you know people are just categorizing things in their mind and they haven't seen something like this you know, I, I met somebody who was like, oh, I'm from Montana. I've never seen something like this. I've never seen, you know, um, but but then maybe there are people from Montana that have seen. <laughs> and then there's parts of Montana that this person hasn't been to. I don't know. You know, so there's a good element of surprise here. And it's like embracing differences, which is kind of really beautiful. And then I saw a duck, which ducks mate for life. So there's something here about finding your duck, okay? Um, you are in very high alignment. You're going to see evidence that you are in very, very, very high alignment. You could be everywhere you go. You're kind of the highest per aligned person there. You're the one that is like setting the stage for how, how highly elevated is this going to go? Is this situation? Is this situation? You're the one setting the level here which is really interesting because then I saw two things that almost couldn't be any more different and it's it's cool and weird. So what is this big lizard called? Oh, Komodo dragon. I looked it up. <laughs> I literally was like, big mean lizard. And it's like, Komodo dragon. I was like, yep, that's what I was picturing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I couldn't think of the name. And you know, these creatures, they're fast, 
but they move so slow, but they are really fast. And they are ruthless, apparently. They, um, you know, they can, like, attack humans, even try to run from them. They can, like, run faster than us. Uh, they have been known to, like, dig up people that already passed away. So there could be something here that, uh, you know, as you're glowing up, as a mute, uh, amazing things are happening, there's going to be little hints of dangers of, oh, you know, and this is kind of like the whole thing of um, stoicism, you know, and when you're kind of stoic, then you're not really swinging this way, then you can't really swing back the other way. You know, but you don't have this amazing momentum either, you know. So it's kind of like the higher you go, like the more you have to fall, but you don't have to fall, you know. The more positive it gets, the more opportunity there is for negative, you know. It's kind of like the brighter it gets, the darker the dark will also get, you know. So there's something here about that. And this can be a represent per people in your life situations. This can represent spiritual situations that you're no longer a part of. That, you know, supernatural things that you're no longer allowing to uh, work through you, to be near you, to have anything to do with you. And then I saw a unicorn. A uh, unicorn is absolutely standing out, being unique, being highly aligned, having magical supernatural powers. So here is the thing. Yeah, maybe there are increasing dark forces against you, but you are a mythical creature. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? You're, you're more profound than you think that you are. You're like this unicorn and you think that you're just a horse, you know? You're like, yeah, I'm one of the horse people. I'm one of the horses, you know, look at me, I'm a horse. And the universe is like, no, 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 no. You're a unicorn, you're not a horse. And this is something to this here because and now I'm seeing the movie Stardust, okay? In the movie Stardust, things are not always what they seem at all. If you've ever seen the movie, Robert De Niro's in it, Michelle Pfeiffer is in it, people are in it, it's great. And the unicorn in that movie helps him figure out that there is a witch that she looks like somebody else. And there is a goat that is looks like a person. So things are not looking like what they actually are and somebody's trying to be poison him and the unicorn just like knocks the cup and it makes the grass like whoosh, and die and so he's like oh that must be poison <laughs> you know now i know so there is something here about you can point out things you can sense things that other people cannot sense but there is only you know you don't want to get too far into this energy you know because the komodo dragon you know um they're only found certain places in the world so don't go where they are and then you don't have to worry about them right but also it's like if you go there you know there's things that you can do okay yeah and then I saw like a monk person and they're stepping from one cliff to another, to another, to another. And there, it could be a monk, could have been a nun, could have been anything. It just was symbolizing you in a highly spiritual evolved form, but like you're alive on the planet. And when you're walk, as you're walking, it's like you are now like dancing over what once plagued you. It's like a dance to you. It's not catching you anymore you're not getting caught in the trap anymore and yeah maybe the the darkness is amping up its game with this komodo dragon like that's the best they got but nothing you know can overpower your alignment your own free will your own personal power when you tap into it and you are tapped into it so Okay, so these are two wolves howling at the moon. These are two wolves howling at the moon. So there's something here about a connection, some kind of communication. You're going to be able to commute, 
communicate with somebody. This could be around the full moon that you could meet somebody that you really click with, that you really, really connect with. And there is a way that you, your, uh, the way that you voice and um, think and express supernatural this person does as well because it's like the the wolf supernatural connection to the moon to all things is why they're like howling at the moon right so there's somebody here that you can rely on that it's just enchanting to be with this person here and you're together no matter what comes out here you're together here and now it's it's showing me a different way and this is um a telescope and two people and you're it's like look at this huge huge telescope right here looking up at this supernatural things and there's two people here and they're like taking turns and they're talking about the night sky and they're very enchanted by this by this whole thing here and there's this beautiful journey that they're going on together here. And then you see how this is like a steady upward, steady, steady, steady upward here. So it's like you climbed, you climbed, you climbed, you climbed, you climbed. And it's like somebody else was climbing at the same time, but you didn't see each other. And now there is a way that you're meeting here. So there could be a way that you're connecting with people and it's like, oh, you just missed that person. You just missed this person, you know? And this is a person who, um, there, is a, there is an element of this person that you can connect with them intellectually and that has been a burden for you that you haven't been able to share your spirituality, your connection to this supernatural world, and now you're able to. There is an element of a way being made forward because the way that they got to where they are, the way that you got to where you are is completely different. And now they're gonna help you. It's like maybe you're the more creative way and they're gonna help you with the paperwork. They're gonna help you with the logistics. They're gonna help you with like this other part of the mind. And you're gonna help them with this other part of the mind here. So this is, could be something here that ends up being like a very uh, amazing victory here and a wonderful success here. Um, th and then this is like a Loch Ness Monster and here are people and they're like observing this so there's something here that you have figured out here that is kind of blowing people's minds as far as like a council or there is a new way that you have thought about things and you're like, okay, this is uh, actually the way that we should actually do it. And people are kind of like studying and asking questions. There could be a very important meeting that you have. And you could have to kind of think on your feet. You have to kind of sell yourself with this here. And you're going to do it. And you're going to do it really well. And then, then I'm, now I'm seeing a butterfly. So there's a huge transition that's going to happen to you because of this here. This is going to open up a lot of doorways here. Now I'm seeing like hair blowing in the wind. So there is going to be a way that you're going to be able to um, kind of release and enjoy. You know, when the wind is blowing through your hair and you're taking a deep breath in and out, there is a sigh of relief here because something is taken care of and you have reached a place of stability. I see a beaver's face. So now you're able to make this security for yourself here. You got it in a very unconventional way. There was a ways here where things could have fallen apart really close to the end here a couple of different times. Um, but it is your ability to be in alignment that is what is bringing this forward. And this can go so many different ways. This can lead to so many different, it's like never ending. And that's the thing is now I see two people here and there is, you know, um, this amazing um, pile here of all that you have um, made in your life. And now it can be anything. It can morph to be a boat. It can morph to be a house. It can morph to be a way to travel. It can be family. It can be friends. It can be 
material things that you want. That's the thing. It's like you're able to kind of manipulate energy in a way. And there could be like a person here that's very good at science. They understand science. They care about science. There you go. Maybe you care about science. This is what I want to do. Which is really interesting because this is kind of like reminding me of the movie Jupiter Ascending. Have you ever seen the movie Jupiter Ascending? Jupiter Ascending, yeah. With Mila Kunas and Channing Tatum. It's pretty magical, you know? And it's an interesting flip. And she cleans toilets for a living. And she ends up being royalty. I'm not going to give it all away. I'm just going to say that. She ends up being royalty. There's a lot of supernatural stuff going on in this movie. Okay. And there's a telescope in the movie. What do you know? There's a telescope in the movie. There's people in love that connect. Wow. There, there's wolves in the movie. Oh, my gosh. So, she, you know, she ends up being royalty and she was cleaning toilets for a living. Can you imagine? Right? And now it's kind of like this supernatural secret that her and him share that nobody else kind of really knows, you know? And it's the way that they bond. Look at this. Integration and union. And it doesn't have to be supernatural. Maybe you don't care about supernatural things at all. But there is just a way that you think about things, that you care about things. You're excited about this topic, this subject. And you have somebody that you can share that with. How cool is that? You know? I once volunteered at a library for a summer and I was like reading to kids and blah, blah, blah. And one of the librarians there, you know, she had all these little worms. She had little boxes of worms and bookworms, you know, and she's constantly talking about worms and how they're so cool and they do this and all these facts about worms. And it was just like, oh, my God, if I have to hear one more fact about a front of, of a freaking worm, I think I'm going to lose my mind, you know. And eventually she she met somebody that cared about worms. And I was like, thank God. <laughs> Thank goodness she met somebody she could talk about these little worms with. You know what I mean? Because that's all she wants. She just wanted somebody that cares about worms. And it doesn't matter what you look at. That's the thing. Everything is love. Everything is love. Everything is love. You look at anything long enough. You look at a worm long enough, you're going to fall in love with that worm. You know, because everything is really love. It's just the pictures we put in our mind. So did you put pictures in your mind that, ew, it's slimy, this is gross? Or, you know, a butterfly is beautiful. A ladybug is cute. So now we think they're all bugs. It's the same thing. You know? So there's something here about... And who likes worms, right? It's unlikely. So there's something here about that. Uh, you may think, oh, there's nobody that's going to tolerate this about me or that about me. Or this is... No, that's not true. That's absolutely not true. What a beautiful um, card to come out, right? Yeah. Seeds, spring, wow. So things have been planted already. There could be something here, you know. I feel like Mercury is going in retrograde now, a couple of days, I don't know. And so this is when you're getting back to seeds that have already been planted. This is when you're, you know, tying up something that you're starting and it's taking you somewhere. You know, this is when this is happening here. And, you know, seeds are in the ground, in the dirt, and so are worms. Whoa. There's something here. There's a bird in the tree. Birds eat worms. How cute. There's something about, um, you may find that like you and a person, you just missed each other in springtime. 
Maybe you thought a connection was going to take off during spring and it didn't happen. Sun, strength, empowerment. Wow. Yeah. You're really, it's like this alignment that you got going on, it's insane. It's amazing. It's wonderful. And if you think about a seed deep down in the earth, you know, it's darkness and they're, the seed is growing up. Hey, they see nothing. They're seeing nothing. They're seeing darkness. They're seeing darkness. They're seeing dark. You keep reaching up. You keep reaching up. You keep reaching up. And eventually what? Finally seeing the beginning of the sky, right? And look at reaching up into the sky. So just reaching for this light, no matter how dark it is, there's something here. Worms, Komodo dragons in the dirt, eating dead people. What is going on? Reaching up to the sun. And they're like, look at how they're in the darkness. And then the light. Even this card. What is going on here? Storm, unexpected. This is unexpected for you to meet this person for this whole occurrence to be happening here this could be something that you really were not thinking was going to be like happening here trust divine timing yeah it's divine time for this to happen that's why it's happening okay and you have action beginnings okay this ascends soul ties reunion so this is somebody here that you feel like you instantly know them if you don't already know them if that makes sense. <laughs> you feel like you know them if you don't already. Yeah, that makes sense. Courage. So there's sudden action here that can be taken place. Unexpected. That's the thing. It's like all of a sudden now the spotlight's on you and you there is something here where you're just going to have to, you know, you're on your feet here with this taking action with these beginnings here. Because now it's the time for this, divine timing. So a lot of things could be happening all at the same time. And you're kind of like, really, universe? Did this need to happen all at the same time? You know? You have this sickle. Sickle. It took me forever to figure out what that meant. <laughs> I mean, what the, what the word was. Okay. The sickle here. Which is associated with the Grim Reaper. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. This is interesting. You know, there is a death to who you used to be and this new emergence of who you are. And there's something here about doing something in a sim more simple way, getting back to the basic way. Okay, maybe you were going for this and now you're having to go back to this way, right? But there could be a way that you meet someone, run into someone, talk to someone because of this. And this is the grass and dirt, seeds, worms. What? This could be an earth sign. That could be what it is. You could be attracting an earth sign. Okay. That could be an earth sign. Could be Scorpio. Could be Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Yeah, because this would be Scorpio. And the fact that we're talking about that. Maybe that's why. Maybe it has to do with gardening. Definitely has to do with like rebirth and something being alive now. We got birds, we got mice. What are all these little creatures? Everything fell out, so I'm not taking it. People are talking, they're talking from a lack mentality. Ignore it. Because the mice's lack represents lack mentality, and the birds represent gossipy people, okay? And it's like, you know, look at this bird out here in life, you know? How are you going to meet another bird? Well, you got to get out there. <laughs> so there's something here about that. Maybe there's people talking about that. Getting back to a basic way of, of meeting people or something, a more simple way of going about something, of handling something yourself. That could be a way that you're meeting people.
taking care of something that needs to be taken care of. Okay, maybe. Okay, we have the letter here. So there is something here where you're going to get some kind of information and something that you're working on. And maybe you're working on it by yourself. And you're getting out there and you're working on it by yourself, okay? And then you... Um, could meet somebody through that, right? This could be a way that some information is coming to you from something that you started a long time ago. And, you know, you didn't see any answer from it. And now there's going to be an answer from this. So this is, it. you know, the way that's going to speed up this union this union coming in, this integration here, the way that this can speed up is by you doing like a simple task with joy, okay? This is like where Teach Nan Han is talking about, you know, washing the dishes and smiling and being in this moment, loving washing the dishes. You know, people travel all over the world to go to Plum Valley in France just so they can wash dishes <laughs> because you know that's the thing is in your day-to-day -day life the joy with whatever it is you know this is not fun work to do this is labor you know and it's repetitive and it's you know kind of exhausting here but you could look at the sky and how beautiful it is you know you could listen turn on the radio while you're doing this to make this more enjoyable and sing along you know, you can make a game out of it. You could, um, you know, there's ways. And then this is going to put your vibration higher, you know. And then this is how you're going to attract the right person, right? So with something here that you have to kind of get back to basics and handle yourself, there is a way that you could have to be doing that. And to be doing it in a more fun way is going to be better for you, okay? I feel like I'm going to say I'm talking in circles now, okay? So news that you've been waiting on coming forward, okay? <sighs> the market and the ring. Wow. Sun, empowerment, strength here. There is a way to something that you have can be presented. There is a way that you're gonna go somewhere where you can be seen, okay? And this is gonna lead to things being a commitment. This is gonna lead to things being taken to another level. This is gonna lead to opportunities for you here, but you're gonna have to put yourself out there. You're gonna have to be willing to be seen here on this card, okay? Because that's the market. You're gonna go to the market. You're gonna look at different things. You're gonna have this open mind. Um, about what it is that you want but when you go there you're going to see what they have and then how is this going to fit and go forward so there's something about that here look at the fish jumping up right this could be right place right time where you meet a person here there could be somewhere where you're going to be sharing your passion and somebody else is going to be there and this is where you're going to meet or vice versa it's a place where people are gathering and there is an opportunity to see a lot of different kinds of people, a lot of different kinds of things. And it's a way that you're putting yourself out there to be there. This is like this unexpected storm. You have the fish jumping upright. That represents prosperity. That represents money. That represents catching, catching something. That it's divine time for something that you're putting out there to take off. And she's holding this sun, like her passion, her vitality. What do you care about? You're putting it out there. You're showing it. You're letting it shine to all people. And 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 this is this is what's causing this prosperity, this quick prosperity. So this is talking about getting attention, letting yourself be seen here. You got the tree card, but I just, I don't know. We'll see if it comes out again. You have the star. There it is. It's time for a wish to come forward. It's time for a wish to happen for you. 
it's been time for a long time for this wish to come true. Um, and it's a very spiritual wish. And people are going to be talking about this. They're going to be talking about all of this fortune. And they're going to be talking about um, how you're moving in a way that they can't believe. And it, But it's going well. It's going really amazing here. It's going good for you. Um, but they were kind of like snarking at you, making fun of you like you can't do it. But you're actually doing it. And then they're kind of like, they don't know what to say with that. You know what I'm saying? There's this kind of energy here. But regardless, also, this is two birds talking. And then look at the flowers represents spiritual um, connection. So there's people that you're going to be able to talk to uh, about your spiritual connection here, about your dreams here um, that, you know, you haven't like had that before you haven't experienced that before but that's gonna come now look at this king of cups i am my own anchor here you're secure within yourself because you're secure within yourself now you're able to attract somebody else here this union could be with a pisces cancer scorpio now it doesn't have to be at all it's just a person that has some emotional stability here the Knight of Pentacles, this is someone that's going to offer you something. Where are they going to offer you this Ace of Cups? They're serious about this. They want to move forward here, okay? And the, the Knight of Pentacles is very interesting because the Knight of Pentacles has all of these seeds, okay? And they have the land and the horse is stopped. They know what they have to do. They just have to get off, you know, get off the horse or maybe they plow and plant from on the horse. I don't know how that works. But... All they have to do is just plant the seeds and it's going to happen. So here is the thing is there's something that you've already planted the seeds about that now you're going to hear about you're being offered something that you really love. You really love because whatever it is that you put forth energy into you, it was, you know, he's holding his heart shop right here. This was like a mission that the divine gave you that you accepted. He's like going like this, like it's a mission. And he's like, okay, yeah, sure. I will do it. So, and then you didn't hear anything and you were kind of like praying here with this four of swords. Like, okay, I thought I did everything I was supposed to do. Like, what's going to happen to me, you know, now? Am I going to be able to kind of uh, be on, stand on my own here? There was this energy of fear here. Wanting to be able to go off on this adventure that's calling you. It's like, okay, the ocean is calling me, but there are no boats. So I'm trying to build a boat and the boat keeps falling apart. So like, what am I supposed to do here? So this is going to change now. You're going to start to see the way. I'm always open to good news. I'm telling you, you have good news that is coming for you here. This could be with a Capricorn person here because we have the devil card here. Could be, could be, could be, could be. Um, and you have the Ace of Pentacles here. Uh, judgment okay this is a lot of a lot of empress now is coming here look at this are you kidding me <sighs> a lot of things are going to start to build up build up very quickly very quickly very quickly and change in a very positive way here for you okay uh yeah there has been a lot of um there has been a lot of things that have fallen apart on a lot of different areas of your life. A lot of conflict, a lot of things that are constantly seem to be falling apart. Um, but that's coming to an end here. You have the Six of Wands. Now you're stepping into this energy of victory here. I create what I choose naturally and with joy. And this is so interesting here. Now you have the Six of Pentacles. Wow. So the Six of Pentacles. Wow. You have union, you have seed, then you have the empress who is pregnant, then you have the six of pentacles here. Something here is changing with strength. The six of wands. This is, and the sun, this is a big fortune here. The sun is here multiple times. So everything that you need for this to grow, for this union to grow, for this to birth new into your life here, it's 
could be a child for some of you. You could meet a person that you're going to end up having a child with. This makes you very happy. This could be a, a, a something um, that you have been wanting to, you know, get going here. <laughs> the union, the seed, she's pregnant. It's like, okay. <sighs> You can meet a person that helps you with something that something takes off. And you're just shining from that point. This is going to be a lot of balance coming in and then more opportunities of love, more opportunities of love, more opportunities to collaborate. This is going to get a lot bigger than what you think it's going to get. You have the wheel of fortune now. Wow. And justice. There's a huge, huge, huge shift going on here. A huge. It's like night and day. And... Things that you used to see as a death, as a detriment, as a horror, as horrible. You're seeing this as an opportunity to be able to transmute this energy into power, into beauty, into love in this life. So there's something really amazing that you understand how to do with the aligning of the planets, with alchemy, with something here. Something here supernatural that nobody else, like people don't know this. You know this. Okay. This is beautiful. Leo, I'm going to leave this here. Amazing burst of love. And all these sun cards. This is happening this Leo season. Oh, yeah. I believe it. Okay. Thank you so much. I hope it resonated. Please like and subscribe.